What's good, YouTube? We are back. Another video, OEM Plus YouTube channel. I'm in my office right now because I think it should start here. So I've been collecting parts for the 997 and um, pretty much just wanted to bring you guys in on what I have in my office as I am going to probably start some, uh, I'm kind of antsy. I, I got excited and I don't want to wait. So I'm still waiting for my coilovers to come in. But in the meantime, I have a bunch of other stuff that I can work on. And most importantly, I got new wheels for the 997. They're going on today. So let me show you guys what I got. All right, so in this box, this is my, this is from FCP Euro. So this is my control arm kit, front and rear control arms, um, tie rods, it's tie rod boot. Um, it's a tie rod, tie rod boot there. Um, so you can see all the control arms down there. So I'm gonna be doing all of those, not today, but I'm gonna do all of that when I have the, um, this is for the tie rod. I have my coilovers. These are brake shims. So I'm gonna take these out because I need these. Um, brake shims and sensors from Rock Auto. And then over here, Rimbo brakes, brake pads, front and rear rotors. So that's what I'll be doing today. So I'll be doing the brakes on the 997. And then here, went ahead and got an Eibach anti-roll kit. So front and rear sway bar and bushings. Um, so I'll be doing that when I get the coilovers as well. So today is just gonna be brake pads, brake rotors, front and rear sensors, shims, the whole thing that's needed for the brake job. And while I do that, I'll be swapping out the uh, the wheels. So, yep, should be fun, should be interesting. Um, this in here is, uh, I forgot what I have in here, it's from Suncoast, I think it's uh, the black, um, the black, uh, Stone guards, I'm not gonna put those on yet. And I got side markers in there as well. Not gonna put those on yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and get all this stuff done and then let's show you the wheels that'll be going on on that side. Bumper's still a mess. That's how it is here. Here are the wheels. So what do we have here? We have three piece augment cup style uh, wheels going on the Porsche. So the rear, they're 19 inch, uh, the rear 19 by 11, the front 19 by eight and a half, pretty standard, uh, wrapped in Yokohama Advent uh, V601s. I really like these tires. I know everybody loves Michelin, that's great, but I like to do what I like to do. So 3305. 30, 19 in the rear, and then a 235, 35, 19 up front. Um, this is a classic, um, what is it called? Like a matte gold. And I think it's gonna look really good against this color car with, the, with that interior. So um, I also have titanium lug bolts that'll be going in. And shout out to Augment Wheels. Uh, great, great customer service, great build time. Took about uh, four weeks, which is great for a three-piece wheel. Very lightweight wheel that went ahead and coated them as well for me. And um, great pricing. And I will definitely be going back to those guys uh, for another set of wheels. Don't know for what car, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, I mean, that looks good. Look at that, meaty. Lots of tire. And yeah, it should be. Should be a pretty dope setup. This is the front. So the front doesn't have that much look, but the rear definitely does. Yeah, so yeah, it's gonna look really good. Really good. 
So yeah. Oh, let me know what you guys think so far. Um, I love them. I think uh, I was very excited about these wheels. And, you know, I like to do things differently. I like to try different combinations. Um, I don't like to just go with, you know, what everybody else does with the same colors, the same styling wheels. Um, I like to, you know, try to use my imagination. And then, you know, when it comes together, it's just like, oh shit, I didn't think it was gonna look like that. So hopefully I pull it off with this, but um, yeah, get down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm, I'm, I'm out here, I'm doing this, you know what I'm saying? So. Show some love. This car is about to get transformed. And we're gonna get the other car moved, the G80 out of the way. We'll make room for something else, some epic, epic. And yeah, just keep rocking with me and I promise won't let you guys down. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing up on the quick jacks and get to work. All right, first time up on the quick jacks. And yeah, pretty easy peasy. The f I saw I have the, I sold my old ones and I got the 5,000 TLs and these fit like just enough um, for this car. And it does fit my 992 as well. And uh, yeah, so they're locked into place. All set up there. Um, and yeah, so now uh, I can, you know, get a look underneath and start looking at stuff and you know seeing what I couldn't see before but you know 500 5000 TLs work perfect for a 997 um, frame um, the key is you want to get the see the adapters there so I got the adapters on the pucks so super secure uh, when I do lower the car I have to probably ride it up on ramps because it was really tight Trying to get it into that one, I believe, or the front one, I can't remember, but no, no big deal. So, um, I actually have a guy coming today to pick up the uh, lobsters. So, I'm gonna get these off, get these moved off to the side. Uh, I got a guy also coming to pick up my FI exhaust. So, I just moved it out of the garage here. And so that's off to the side. I gotta pull it apart so we can fit it in this car. And then the G80 is back on the ugliest stock wheels ever. But we're getting there slowly but surely. A few more things and it should be ready to go off somewhere else. But uh, for now, the focus is on Miss Noir. But yeah, quick jacks. I love them. And they work great. So. Oh, I forgot something. So I got these, uh, this here, this, this here little Porsche, Porsche uh, swag, if you will. But I am, so now since I'm gonna start working on my 997, off. I need something to really uh, there we go. so yeah check this out Ooh, these are my brand new mechanic gloves for all my Porsche activities it's got the hound's tooth type of pattern here and yeah I'm that guy now. Ah, put a link down in the description if you wanna get these. Got from Suncoast. Love that place. Oh yeah, that's it. Nerd. You're a fucking nerd. Nerd. You're a fucking nerd. And nerd. no one likes you. Point and no stuff. one likes you. All right, cheese bags, we are bringing in for update. Uh, so I got the front brakes on, everything looks good. Um, pretty much I'm gonna give you guys like why I'm doing my brakes. So these are the original front brakes 
around the car. And as you can see, like they're extremely rusted. Uh, they weren't like bad. Pads weren't bad or anything, but just having those type of rusted calipers, this or rotors didn't sit well with me. So <clears throat> here are the new ones. Uh, and they are like more of a rust resistant rotor. And then I put the new pads in there. I didn't get new hardware, but I just reused it, it's no big deal. Um, new sensors though. Uh, and so that's good. So now I gotta do the back. So that's the old one. And then those would be the new ones here. Again, everything from Brembo. Got my shims here, my rear sensors there. And little hack is that I watched the instructional video in my garage first and then I start to do the um, the install um, just a good one got one of these pad spreader just kind of make life a little bit easier and it's also good to have one hand for other jobs but that's pretty much it my daughter was out here hanging out and watching me so I'm showing her how to uh, swap brakes and stuff so that's pretty good got my do rag on so my hair doesn't get stupid but um yeah I'll go ahead and get back to work and get this thing uh get these wheels on and get this car on the ground and then i gotta you know prime everything with the with the the, the, uh, the rotors and stuff like that with new pads so um should be fun and we are back and done finally Got the wheels on here, car is still up in the air, but I'll sort of show you guys what we're working with, show you guys the details and everything. So, looks good. Uh, right, yeah, everything looks good. So, without further ado, let's check it out. Bam! Mm, mm, mm. So we got fresh brake rotors in there, no more rust. Looking good. Matte gold. Let's get this view from this side. Oh my God. Oh man. This right here. With the interior fish bowling. It's gonna be crazy. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the ground. And uh, See how we're sitting up again, not uh, not lowered yet. So, good. make sure this isn't on the tire. Should get low, it's gonna be stupid, especially this. Like, look at that fitment. Oh my god, 305s, and that's just gonna get dumb. Wow, shouts out to Augment Wheels for knocking out the park. So, I did the titanium wheel bolts. I think this is a must. You know, if you're gonna be upgrading your wheel, especially if you got a polished lip, you wanna get something to kinda of bring that out. Brings out the silver here, polished lip here. Boom, brand new brakes behind it. Not looking all janky. Um, let's get some more, more views this because I'm like I check that out right there bro 
Man, you can't tell me shit, man. When it comes to this, like, let me turn the camera. Let me, when it comes to this, man, like, I, like y'all saw the G80. Y'all saw what I did with that. Like, I just, I just be doing it, man. Like, I'm like, this is just the beginning. I, you know, like I said, once I get this thing lowered, get the paint redone, get some interior stuff that I want to get done. I want to paint match the uh, center console to the body of the car. Um, bring that out, get some, get the new headlights. It's just going to get even more crazy. But, yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, I need to go get these brakes squared away on the road. I'm gonna go do that, but that's it for the day. I don't wanna keep you guys lingering around. Let me know what you think in the comments of these wheels, these cup, uh, cup style uh, wheels, bringing that retro look to a semi-modern classic in the 997.1. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. That's gonna be it for today. Catch you guys in the next one. We're gonna keep making this thing legit. And um, yeah, hopefully get some more news and all that stuff with the G80 and what's gonna be next. So, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.